It's a gorgeous day in Taipei. Uh, today's gonna be a great day. I have quite a few things planned. I'm kind of knocking out most of the main things that you're supposed to do when you're in Taipei. And I, uh, I've been here a few days. I haven't really been filming much. It's kind of been relaxing, but today's gonna be the Taipei episode, so. I love this city. It's very chill. Um, it's very clean and feels, even though I haven't been in Japan, it kind of feels Japanese in a lot of ways. Very cozy, tight, flat, clean streets. Very efficient. All the food has just been delicious. Um, easily my favorite food destination I've been to thus far. And yeah, that's all for now. All good. Good yeah. Got this sandwich. I have zero clue what's on the inside, but I just need a little breakfast to hold me over for the day. So the train only runs from 6 a.m. My flight tomorrow is at 7.30 a.m. It's just not enough time, so I have to get cash to get a taxi. not that many people here like this is just unreal I don't know when these structures were built but they are incredibly ornate and really really pretty you have to come here if you come to Taipei Taiwan is just so peaceful like you can just always even if you're just in city streets you can hear you can just hear birds chirping and there isn't as much smog here as there are in a lot of East Asian cities especially compared to Hong Kong um, it's just super relaxed and calming. The Japanese actually conquered Taiwan, and I think those Japanese values are perpetuated in Taiwanese life, and architecture, and culture, and yeah, it's just super zen. I really, really enjoy this country. Taiwanese version of the Rocky Steps. When you see a staircase like this, you just have to run over it. Pretty incredible. Who knew Taiwan? I had no idea, it's incredible. Okay. Okay, like ink and uh, watercolor put together in a, in a special type of the rice paper. Uh, so you see this, uh, it's, uh, most of these light are animals, and, but you you can recognize, you can see what it does. Yeah. Not, like the, not like the old style, sometimes you don't understand what it is. Yeah. He's super nice too. I don't know if it's just luck that the day that we came here, he's just in the exhibition hall, but super cool. So that was great. Um, now I'm gonna hop on the Metro and go get some lunch. I'm going to this place called Lin Don Fang for by far the most famous dish in Taiwan, which is Taiwanese beef noodles. I'm very excited. This place is historic and just very well known. I had beef noodles yesterday and they were delicious. This is it. I have this spicy butter and this is what you use if you want to make it spicy. Also, they just have a fridge of side dishes. 
These are all one dollar and uh, everything looks delicious. So try this first. This is pig ear salad. I don't think I've ever had pig ears. So that's super good. Um, they're very crunchy. They're cold and they have a little bit of vinegar and sesame oil on them. Really nice. Now the pickled cucumber. Super good. Very refreshing. Chili in there is nice. Very crunchy. Sharp cold. I mean, not too sweet. And now the soup. Um, I'm just gonna add a pretty healthy dosage of that spicy butter in there. And yeah, that just melts immediately. It's not too oily of a broth. So it can handle the butter, I think. I'm gonna try that broth alone first. <laughs> wow. So that butter is hotter than I initially thought it would be. <laughs> but the broth's delicious. It is so good. The flavor is so deep. Now let's try those noodles. So they're totally unique. They're not, they're not udon, they're not ramen, they're not vermicelli, they're just like its own thing. They're all irregular. I don't know if they cut them or I don't know what they do, but yeah, I've never really seen anything like this. So cheers. Those are so good. They're so springy and bouncy, chewy in the best way possible. And yeah, I'm just, I, I have nothing to compare them to. I, it's like al dente pasta, but they're perfectly cylindrical. They're just like thick in a good way. And that beef. It's so tender. I don't know what the cut is. Kind of reminds me of like an Irish pot roast, but I mean, literally, you can just press it against the roof of your mouth and it just falls apart. It's absolutely delicious. And that was so good. Taiwanese food is just so underrated, but it made me really tired. So I'm gonna go get a coffee and recharge and then go check out Taipei 101, which is by far the most famous tourist attraction in Taipei. That's the plan. Two hours later. Got my coffee, feeling so much better. Now I'm gonna go check out Taipei 101. So this building, Taipei 101, the tallest building in the world from, I don't know the period off the top of my head, but I'll put it on the screen. So it's just something you check out when you come here. Bunch of luxury shopping, what else would you expect? Pretty cool. The elevator just goes up so fast. But I'm just kind of gonna get my views in and then call it quits, you know? Did that, that was cool. Now I need to go find some place to fly my drone. <laughs> I just think that this might be difficult because there's police everywhere and tons of tall buildings and uh, just tons of people everywhere. So we will see, I'm keeping my eyes peeled. There it is in all its glory. It looks like a really tall Chinese takeout box. I think I have a chance this place over here. All right, so I wasn't able to fly the drone. My GPS was blocked, so I wasn't even able to take off, even if I wanted to. Yeah, kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. Now I'm going to Railway Night Market, which is a very famous night market here, to try sort of the last street foods that I haven't tried yet. 
and then I'll be satisfied that I did everything that I wanted to do in Taiwan. So this is kind of the last thing and night markets are such a big part of Taiwanese culture and really just a lot of Asian cultures in general. So yeah, should be good. Made it to the night market. So the main thing I want to try is stinky tofu, which is actually supposed to be pretty gross, but it's a Taiwanese thing. I think it's fermented. I don't know what they do to it, but it, it's supposed to be disgusting, but it's a rite of passage. You just, it's something that you're supposed to try when you come to Taiwan. And I don't know like how to say it in Chinese. I figure I'll just smell it and I'll know, but I don't really know how to find it. So this might kind of be a process, we'll see. So much good food, I really wish I was more hungry. Oh my God, look at those squid. Those are massive tripe. I haven't seen the stinky tofu anywhere. I have to find it. Okay, I'm starting to get close and I can smell it. It smells awful. It smells like manure. It smells like, oh my God. Holy shit. It just smells like trash that's been sitting out in the sun on a 90 degree day just all day. Oh my God, it smells so bad. I can't wait to try it. All right, this is it in all its glory. So it's basically, it's fried tofu. I mean, they top it with the, like a, like, they top it with some pickled cabbage and something that looks like soy sauce and some chili sauce. So that's how it's served. And she makes a little divot so there's a little pocket for the sauce. First, I'm gonna try the tofu just by itself. It's really not that bad. I can see how you would like score them at it, but it's not terrible. It definitely tastes pretty funky. It's not as appalling as people react to it being on like YouTube and stuff. It's definitely not good. It's definitely bad, but. It's not that bad. Stinky tofu conquered. Now I just have to go eat something that I actually want to eat, so. That shouldn't be hard, because everything looks incredibly delicious. Chili snails, chicken feet, more chicken feet. Are the most famous stand here at Railway Night Market. So they take these balls of dough, they shove some pork in there, so like she fills it with pork, and then she just presses it with the scallions shoves it all in there. Oh, that is what I'm gonna go eat. Higher line is for that one stall. The Rahue, the Rohu, the Rahus, the Rahu Night Market. And then he just puts them in there against the wall. Time to eat this thing. So it's just piping hot. And it's like literally as crisp as a cracker on the outside. That's unbelievable. That is so good. And it was less than $2. All right, that's it for this vlog. I'm gonna go to bed because I have a super early flight. Thanks for watching and uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and I'll see you in the next video.